What's going on everybody? It's Noah, welcome back to the channel. Let's go get some breakfast today in Oaxaca, Mexico. Packed pretty light, so I got, you know, this knit bag for my laundry. We're gonna take this dirty laundry to the lavanderia. It's like 100 feet away. If you guys did not know, uh, there's not a lot of washers and dryers in the homes here in Mexico. So yeah, use a, a lavanderia or, you know, you wash them by hand. I've seen some other, it looks like a 50 gallon uh, barrel, but it's a washer. And then you'll hang the, the clothes after they're done washing on a clothesline. So that's another way you could do it. I've never seen a washing machine like this. We take the water hose, put it in there. <laughs> wow, which I can really appreciate the simplicity of it because if you want to buy a new washer dryer, you're talking hundreds, if not thousands of dollars in America for a new or nice set. And that's kind of like the standard, like we have to have it. And I kind of hate how that's always forced on us to buy those things. If we don't want to, we shouldn't have to. I got blasted for being an American and saying American in my last video, uh, which I got a couple things to say about that, but I totally get it. It's it's a continent, not a country, right? But what other country has the name America in it? Over time, we started calling ourselves Americans because we're United States of Americans. How annoying is it to say, I'm United States of American? Like, it, it doesn't make any sense. The continent, yes, but it's also the name of a country. But I deal with this a lot because I'm also straight, I'm white, male. Ooh. So I'm responsible for a lot of these things in the world that everyone likes to complain about. <laughs> I found these countries on this website that have favorable exchange rates for the Mexican peso. So if you want the same experience that I have as an American in Mexico, you can, as a Mexican citizen with your Mexican peso, go to Chile, India, Colombia, Hungary, Indonesia, Nepal, Russia, Thailand and Taiwan, just to name a few. Uh, you can look up the exchange rates yourselves uh, or just visit the website, I'll put it in the description. But I believe everybody has that same advantage. You have to go where you're gonna be treated best and go where you're gonna be able to get ahead. Uh, but I'm not moving here, I'm just I'm just visiting. So slow your roll. I just wanted to point that out because I got a lot of angry comments about you know saying America was a continent, not a country, and I should learn more about Mexico and blah, blah, blah. blah. If you do agree with what I'm saying, leave this video a like drop a comment below and uh, help me out with some of these people that are you know, bashing me in the comments. Um, everyone loves to bash America and I'm one of them. I love to bash America in some ways, but it is my home, it is my country. I'm definitely not gonna feel bad about being an American and I'm definitely not gonna be unlearning any vicious thoughts or behaviors. I don't even know what that means. I'm really surprised by how convenient the coins are sometimes because we hardly use coins or even paper money in America at all, mostly just cards, which I have mixed feelings about. I'd rather use money because the government is slowly, slowly, starting to track us on everything we do. So um, I do appreciate that aspect of it. I just wanna know how much I paid for the Airbnb, how much all this costs for 20 days here in Mexico. And you want a video of that? Drop a comment down below. Okay, so first thing we do is go get some laundry done. We're gonna drop this off at Lavenderia, like a couple hundred feet away. All right, let's go. Let's see what's going on today. Hola, buenos dias. I don't know everything on this receipt, but it's gonna cost me 112 pesos, which works out to be, I think about $6. And there's a lot of these places. They're pretty common uh, because there's no washer dryers here, like I said earlier. We have a lot of street vendors in Mexico, which I really like. You gotta have a permit, license, business license, pay taxes, if you wanna do that in America. We're just gonna go find one of these small breakfast spots and, and just get, Get some breakfast, whatever they're cooking today. Those Nissan pseudo taxis are ridiculously crazy, man. <laughs> I don't fit in those taxis. There's one where I had my head sticking out of the door because I was in the front seat and there was another, bo another body next to me basically sitting on top of the shifter and the taxi drivers, oh man, they drive crazy out here. Okay, so just turn the corner. We're gonna go to, I'm gonna go to Cucina. Economica, right here. Let's go check this place out. We also have some bun for the coffee. And it's just slightly sweet, just sweet enough. Oh, it's so good. con de huevo y chorizo salsa. Mi 
fresh right here. I don't want to film, it's a little rude, so. I just noticed this is a kind of a cool building. They've got a bunch of uh, old, they're not logs, they're, they're smaller than that, but um, it's really modern, it looks like, but they got these rustic logs in front of it. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't know what's going on, uh, whether they're apartments or businesses, but um, I want to go check out this coffee spot right here. Okay, it's starting to sprinkle a little bit, so we're going to go get some coffee right here instead of walking where I was going to walk. We found a friend. What's up, dude? Specifically, we got a cortado. I don't know if it's really a cortado. I don't think so because it's a, a 12 ounce cup. And then I'll break down all the costs of food once we get back to the place. Well, I lived near Seattle for the better part of like two years, and the coffee there is just outstanding. The coffee is so good. I appreciate the effort. It's got a cute Christmas cup. Let's be real here. I don't want to be too nice. The coffee was not great. They probably have some good stuff. What I ordered was not good. But it's what I get for not double checking or researching what coffee place I was going to go to. It's bound to happen. The coffee, I paid 50 pesos. I tipped nine. Total, 59 pesos. To about $3.47. My experience was partially redeemed when I ran into my feline friend on the way home. So five stars for him. Could have gone to Cafe Brujula around the corner, which is like the Starbucks equivalent, and it would have been way more consistent. Uh, but still not great, but consistent. Restaurant Cocina Economica. I paid 90 pesos, tipped 40, double what I needed to, but 130 pesos, and divide that by the exchange rate, it's about $7.64. Food was amazing. It was very rich. It was freshly made. There was somebody uh, bringing out fresh ingredients to the lady cooking on the actual comal right in front of me. I didn't film it because it was a little rude, uh, but it was delicious. Service, I give one star. I was never greeted by a cat on my way in and it really detracted from my experience. But man, I'm stuffed. I'm gonna be full for a while. I stay full here. It's very easy to eat and overeat and eat and eat and eat. Uh, the food is just delicious. It's rich. The ingredients are just perfect. Everything is grown in local gardens. There's no massive farms that are corporations just trying to churn out food. It's people will go to the market, sell their vegetables that they grow in their garden, and it's all organic. It's, it's very delicious, and the food here is just very clean. I feel like I'm losing weight, or like my face looks skinnier. There's a huge difference in the food quality coming from United States uh, coming to Mexico. I know it's kind of a short video, but if you guys at least enjoyed it, Please leave a comment down below. What would you guys like me to do here or show you here? Uh, I'd be more than willing to take some recommendations as to what I should film here in Oaxaca. I try to be polite and not just film everything and put a camera in everybody's face. Um, I feel like that's pretty disrespectful, especially in a restaurant. As much as I like making YouTube videos, I just think it's absolutely cringe when someone's out there filming in public, getting everybody who does not want to be filmed in the clip and they're just oblivious to social norms. So I definitely try not to do that. If you guys do want more videos in Mexico, I can make them. I'm leaving Oaxaca in a few days, but I do go to Tijuana, Tecate, uh, not regularly, but I try to go because I like spending time over there. If you guys want to see more videos in Mexico, drop some comments down below. Otherwise, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.